knew that. Hey, Wanda, where's home plate? There is it one, Ralphie, just pretend. Pretend? Me? But I'll have nothing to slide into when I hit a home run. You'll have nothing to hit if you don't let me pitch. Oh, all right, I'll pretend. <laughs> Game. I just finished this book, A Child's Garden of Physics. Huh? <laughs> I'm really happy for you, DA. We can't wait to hear the book report. But right now, I've got a game-winning home run again. So if you could just get off the field... But Ralphie, you don't understand. This book's all about what gets things moving and what makes them stop. Forces, friction, pushes, pulls. Forces? Friction? Pushes? Pulls? And as I always say, where there's physics, there's a field trip. Listen, a force is just a push or a pull. If you're gonna force us to listen to this... You're being kind of pushy, don't you think? No, no. I'm talking about real forces. Picture this. There's a big red sled sitting in the snow, not going anywhere. But if somebody comes along and gives it a push... Who? It doesn't matter, Arnold. If somebody comes and... I need to know so I can complete my mental picture. Yeah, me too. Okay, okay. How about Napoleon? Fine. If Napoleon comes along and gives the sled a push, it'll move. That's a force. And it'll keep moving on the slippery snow until something stops it. Like the entire British army? No, like some dirt. Things rubbing together cause a force called friction. The sled stops because of the friction of the dirt against the runners. Friction slows down and stops nearly every motion on Earth. You stopped our game to tell us that? Isn't that cool? Let us know when they make the movie, okay, DA? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, you guys. Well, I think friction is fascinating. Well, I think it's... Hey! Dorothy Ann, oh, wait! You know, that book does sound sort of cool. It is! And look at this, Ralphie. Page 97. Hey, it's a baseball field. But it would be impossible to play normal baseball there. There's no friction. You know, Dorothy Ann... This is one amazing book. Flat, sturdy, white, and the right size. Hmm. GDA, do you think maybe I could borrow it? Sure, but you have to promise to take care of it. The Scout's honor. You're up, Ralphie. Thanks, DA. <laughs> Just a delay of game, Ralphie. Delay of game? What for? Field trip delay. It's time to explore the unknown. Be adventurous, brave, and bold. Let's go. Field trip. <laughs> Just as long as we don't get blasted, roasted, toasted, or eaten, I'm happy. Oh, don't worry, Arnold. That's not until next week. Today, we're going to a baseball game. This is so cool. A baseball game? That's not new or different or exciting. Huh? What? Let's go someplace really unusual. Like that place I showed you, Ralphie. You know, page 97. Show them. Um, yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> Ralphie, how could you? Well, you know, it was the right size and with the white cover and all, it made a great home plate. Hey, it's not like I ruined it. Please, Miss Frizzle, can we get my book before we go? No occasion for agitation, Dorothy Ann. We'll not only get your book, we'll keep Ralphie happy, too. We will? Mm-hmm. Bus, do your stuff! Oh, time to hit the books! <laughs> Think we are? Yes, yes, we are! At my old school, the librarian never let us drive in our book. Miss Frizzle, stop here, please! Page 97. It's the page I was talking about. It's all about a world without friction.
It looks like the world of baseball to me. Come on! Ralphie, watch out! The ground on that field has no... Whoa! Whoa! Uh... Whoa! Whoa! I can't stop! Wow! It's Ralphie the runaway pinball. Yeah, there's no stopping him now. Without friction, how are we going to stop him? What would happen if something smashed into him? Right. A force pushing the other way. But, but what can we use? The only forces we can control in there are... Us! Take me out of the friction where things just slow to a stop. La 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 This way, class. Something tells me I should have stayed home today. Who knew he'd wind up inside a drawing? I wonder what would happen if I tried to run. Not a good idea! Oh boy, is this ever weird. Hi! I can't walk! I need something to push against! Like the friction of my feet against the ground! These feet were made for friction! Whoa! Whoa! Forget walking! I just want to stand up! How about a force to get you going, Dorothy Ann? Like a push? <laughs> Whee! Never fear, Robbie! A push to the rescue! There! I saved you! Save me? I was having a blast! Hey, DA, looks like Ralphie gave you the push-off. That's the last time I saved him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ew, that was close. Whoa, whoa. Look on the bright side, Arnold. No friction, no grass stains. Okay, hit it, Liz! <laughs> And what a beautifully frictionless day it is. Miss Frizzle, where did you learn to announce like that? You'd be surprised what teachers do during the summer break. But let's talk about the game, DA. Oh, yes. Well, folks, believe it or not, we're coming to you live from inside my textbook. Our playing field today is slipperier than ice and slicker than spit. The ground out there has no, we repeat, no friction, folks. Yes, sir, baseball fans. This could very well be this week's on the mound is Wanda, one of the most outstanding pitchers in the class. And master of the famed bubblegum ball. You ready for this, Ralphie? Try me. First up is Ralphie, the most fearsome four-foot hitter in the league. And there's the pitch! Whoa! And look at that, folks. The force Wanda used really got that ball going and pushed her way back towards second. It's a swing I got it. and a miss. Oh. Oops, sorry, Miss Frizzle. Ooh, and a serious catcher-teacher hip check. Uh, what's going on here? Another pitch. This one looks good. A hot grounder down the third baseline. For Dorothy Ann, what do you think has happened to our batter? Hey, this isn't fun. Oh, He's spinning off the first. Yes, yes, Ralphie is going for a double with a spin on it. Oh, dear. Just look at that ball go, folks. <laughs> That's what happens when there's no friction from the ground to slow it down. Oops! Oh, look at Ralphie go! Oh, no. Double play. <laughs> okay, I'll play second. It's all yours. Coming through! Yes, again. Ninja backs it up the center. Look out, Keisha! Is this baseball? Oh, or basketball? Oh, yeah. It could be an inside the park homer, folks. Whoa! Ralphie, remember that no friction means no slowing down. Whoops, miss me. Is it just me, or are we going to collide? Whoa! Whoa! Do I look like home plate? If you're home plate, I must be safe. I guess baseball isn't exactly field trip material. Whoa! Whoa. The lack of friction. 
reaction was the big pain. Pain? I can't believe you failed to see the wonder of a world without friction. I'd trade all the wonder in the world for box seats, which you might have had if it weren't for your goofy book. Miss Frizzle? Yes, Dorothy Ann. I think we better call this game due to lack of friction. Game! Hit it again, Liz! Grab on class. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, says you. Says you. Says you. Yeah. All right. It's the all frizzle friction free tug of war. Then again, maybe not. Very good, Wanda. A push is one force that can get us moving. What's the opposite? A pull? A pull. Oh. Excellent. This is more like it. Thanks, boss. Huh? Hey! Wait a sec. Where is everybody? <laughs> Rev on, you guys! Oh, oh, oh. Wow, you're right, DA. We had no idea friction did so much. Dorothy Ann, could I borrow that book when Rafi's done with it? Uh, can I too? Then me. Wait a sec. No one gets the book until we get out of it. He's got a point. I guess so. To the bus! Is everyone seated? Yes, Miss Frizzle. Then let's book it. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's that noise? <gasps> At my old school, we only pressed flowers in our books. Any suggestions, class? Better gun him, Miss Frizzle. Excellent idea, Wanda. Oh, no. The cover of the book is pushing down on the bus too hard for the wheels to push us out. What? We're Guess we'll be food for the bookworms. <laughs> Carlos! This is serious. I know, a real heavy situation. As I always say, those who are book bound should take a look around. This way, class. Stay on the same page, please. Step on it, Liz! There's not enough friction down here to push the bus up. There's too much friction up here. Okay, okay, where do we stand? Uh, somewhere between page 96 and 97. Carlos! Hey, just trying to lighten things up. Lighten things up, that's it. Climb up on the roof and push up on the book. Let me get the facts. You're saying we should hold up the book, get in the bus, and drive away? Yes. How? Good question, Arnold. Anyone have an answer? DA, this is all your fault! <laughs> Ralphie, you're a genius. Look! off the page. I have a plan. We split into two teams, right? Right. Ralphie's team goes on the roof and pushes up on the book, while my team piles letters up under here to hold the book up long enough for us to get out. Like this. Exactly. Let's do it! Let her rip! Carlos, take a letter. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent plan. But why doesn't your team push up on the book while my team piles the letters? Okay? Okay. No! Yes, okay. Not. Yes, okay. Not. Um, DA, what is it again that makes everything stop? Friction. And if there's a lot of it, you can't get anywhere. Right, Ralphie? Yes. Well, I think there's a little too much friction between you two. So if we're ever going to get out of this book, we'd, we'd better, better get, get rid of the friction between us. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Well, I'm even sorrier. No, I'm sorrier. No, I'm sorrier. <sighs> and I'm sorrier than both of you. Okay, let's try it. Push! Come on, you bunch of Weasley wimps, push! It's working! More letters! <laughs> Out of 
the book and through the words. Back of the class we go. An open and shut case. Carlos! <laughs> Hang on, Ralphie. Remember what happened last time you jumped out of the bus like that? Never fear! There's friction here! Good old friction! Hey there, Friction fans! Welcome to the All Frizzle Complete with Friction Baseball Classic! Yes, sir! It's a beautiful day here at Frizzle Field, and have we got a game for you! The first up is our very own Dorothy Ann. I tell you, Keisha, if she hits the ball as hard as she hits the books, watch out! Tremendous hit deep into center. Holy cow, she exerted some kind of force on that ball. But can the left fielder Carlos get to the ball and apply his force to stop it? No, he can't. What a shot, folks. But lucky for Carlos, the friction of the ball against the grass has slowed it to a stop. What would we do without friction, folks? Yahoo! Come on, children! And DA finds a friend in friction as she slides home. The big question, is she safe? 